So we're looking again at this spectrum image of the semiconductor device. And I want to show you how to use the dynamic map tool for spectrum images. So the first thing that we need to do is extract some spectral data. So remember, we just use the SI picker tool, choose where we want to grab our data from. And then we have the spectrum here. So this is the spectrum uh, or the spectral data that is the sum of all kind of the spectrum image pixels in this red box. So we can see that we have here a nitrogen K edge, titanium L edge, and the oxygen K edge. So the first thing we need to do is define a background subtraction window. So make sure your spectrum is selected, hold down the control key on the keyboard, left click and drag, and then draw a background window. If we do the same again, so control, left click and drag, then we define a signal window, and then we're good to go. So once we've done that, we need to go up to the SI menu, go to the map sub menu, and then choose signal dynamic. And then what we're looking at now for this example is a nitrogen signal map. So high brightness is where we have uh, kind of nitrogen rich regions. So what's really useful about the dynamic map tool is that we can make changes to the size and positions of these windows and this map gets redrawn. So I'm going to go ahead and move the signal window over to oxygen, for example. Change the background uh, position and size so that it's good for oxygen. And you can see that the map has now changed and we have an oxygen map. We can go ahead and do the same for titanium. So we can say, okay, where are the titanium rich regions in the sample? So again, move the background window, change the signal window, and the map changes again. So you can see that the dynamic map tool is a really fast and easy way to kind of rapidly get elemental maps and kind of optimize those signal window positions and sizes for a given uh, data set.